Ghanaian filmmaker Samuel Bazawule's 2016 Afrofuturist short film, Diasporatical Trilogia, is a contemporary collage of film techniques and critical theory made by artists and scholars of African descent over the past 50 years. By incorporating techniques used by Carrie Mae Weems and John Akonfra, Diasporatical Trilogia establishes a shared black diasporic conceptual map defined by a borderless world that supersedes a white Eurocentric patriarchal geography of reason. Weems's Constructing History and Akonfra's The Stuart Hall Project each rest theoretically on cultural studies scholar Stuart Hall's notions of representation being constitutive of meaning. Therefore, Diasporatical Trilogia functions as a recent visual exposure of the accumulation of intergenerational creative practices across the African diaspora, thereby facilitating a constructionist approach and inviting viewers to participate in making their own meaning from these representations. Weems' 2008 short film stages a visual history of the United States that calls viewers to decolonize their canonical understandings of the topic. Weems' specific techniques foreground the U.S. history's African diasporic foundations, paving the way for diasporatical trilogia's later constitution of space for a black aesthetic. Weems utilizes the camera reflexively. By using wide shots that visualize the maison scene studio equipment that is absent in canonical film, the camera's role in the film is elevated to the same importance of the roles of the actors, narrator, props, and set. Weems uses the camera to circle the staged actors, capturing the glare of the set's lights. The camera's circles mimic the circularity of the narrative plot structure. The film begins and ends with the same visuals. Bazawule utilizes the same circular techniques, both with the camera movement and with the plot. In Weems's inclusion of a clock on the wall of the set, whose time varies through the film, visually represents time as constructed. Bazawule further forwards the notion of time as constructed by incorporating additional techniques, such as slowed shots and reversal of frames, thereby establishing a flexible, fluid temporality. Weems' use of an unsteady camera, a technique Bazawule also uses, alerts viewers that the camera is present in capturing the visual. It is itself a frame, the means by which the filmmaker packages and delivers visuals to the viewer. Akonfra's 2013 documentary film, comprised of original footage and borrowed BBC footage, introduces additional techniques used by Bazawule. Akonfra constructs a visual biography of Hall's theory by merging the past with the present and visually juxtaposing archival footage of mid-century England with footage of Hall on camera in Jamaica and the UK, showing that the political is always grounded in the personal. Likewise, Bazawule merges three temporalities in his biography of one woman's journey across time and diasporic space. Whereas Weems' soundtrack is omniscient in relationship to constructing history's material, Akonfra uses a constant soundtrack of jazz music by Miles Davis to pull the film's narrative forward in an organized yet improvised fashion. Diasporatical Trilogia's music, like the music in the Stuart Hall project, orients the viewers through the narrative, this time by providing a soundtrack of joy and celebration. All of the music in Diasporatical Trilogia is by Bazawule himself. Therefore, the film is a collage of self-produced, rather than borrowed, materials. Furthermore, Bazawule visually grounds the film in themes of African spirituality, both on the continent and in the diaspora, by utilizing the color motif of Yorubic white clothing throughout the film. Bazawule's master collaging of Weems's and Akonfra's techniques and Hall's theory with his own original material, results in a visual exposure of a shared black diasporic conceptual map that constitutes the patterns of intergenerational creative practices across the diaspora.